This is going to be a quick video tutorial to show you how to get alerts on custom studies uh, that you want to know if something's happening. For example, I want to know when these arrows print on this particular custom studies or buy and sell arrows. So now this is a lot of arrows. This is not the normal settings. I've made it super sensitive. This particular study takes into account crossovers with volume surge. There could be a crossover without a predetermined volume surge and it's not going to print an arrow. But if there's a volume surge, it will. And I want to know when this happens. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click, create alert, single. And I'm going to come down here and study. I'm going to edit, just delete out everything that you got in there. Make sure you have it up here set on the uh, time frame you want to measure. I'm in extended hours right now, so I got that checked as well. If you want to know this overnight, then you got to make sure that's checked. It's going to add a condition. And I'll come down here and I'm going to go to study. I'm going to find my study right there. And I'm going to change this and make it super sensitive. So the crossovers for the I'm going to do three and five on the crossovers. And this is volume 100 on this one. This particular study, I'm not getting into it, but right now it's saying 1% volume surge. I'm going to change that to 0.25. And I'm going to change uh, the, the down volume surge is also 0.25 to make it super sensitive so we don't have to wait forever. And I'm going to set it to true. And I'm going to save. And then I'm going to save again. And then create. Now you can go to Market Watch. And that was for that particular one. Excuse me, I left out one part. Very important. So we're going to have to create a second alert. This is arrow up, arrow down. So on the second alert, study, edit. Well, this one here, you'll notice it was, I had it set. This is arrow down. You have your selections, which you're trying to track here. So I need one for arrow up as well. So I'm going to switch this to arrow up. And I'm going to leave everything the same. It's all going to be the same. I'm going to save. I'm going to create. So I'm going to get alert regardless of which way that arrow goes. And there you see that arrow up just fired. So it should be here. Uh, triggered. If you notice here, towards the end of it, you'll notice it says arrow up is true. That tells me that it printed an arrow, an arrow up here. And it would do the same on the if it were to, the other one I had set for arrow down, it does the same. So what you do is you set your settings the way you want it, and you set it to true. In, in this particular case, if it prints an arrow up within one bar, it's going to send me an alert. If it prints an arrow down within one bar, it's going to send me an alert. Now, just keep in mind, I had to create two different alerts. One for the arrow up, one for the arrow down. I don't know of a way to, it's, it's not offered in the alerts to, if it prints arrow regardless to send you an alert. So, I had to create two alerts, but that's how you, uh, if you want, if you want, if you have a study and you want to be alerted when an arrow prints on your study, that's how you do it. I hope this has helped. If it has helped, how about leaving a like? Subscribe. Leave a comment. I'd appreciate it. Help those algorithms find this channel. And you have a good day.